Organic chemistry is hard. This is a commonly held view among people who are trying to learn the subject. And according to most, the best way to learn organic chemistry is practice. You just kind of grind through problems until you develop on intuition. And I agree that this is a very good thing to do. The major problem in my mind is that it's hard to find useful practice material. Most of the time you have to lug out this massive textbook, get a pen and paper, flip through pages to find questions. Then when you finish a question, you try to find out if you did it right, but you don't know if you did it right because there's no answer key. It's cumbersome, it's impractical, it's frustrating. Wouldn't it be better if there were an app that would find these problems for you and then give you the instantaneous feedback you need in order to learn and improve? I certainly think so, but I couldn't find one, so I'm making it myself. I present to you the Organic Chemistry Reaction App, Okra. It's a one-stop shop for organic chemistry reaction mechanism puzzles. So what is Okra? It's essentially a puzzle game, but the puzzles are organic chemistry mechanisms. See, I believe that organic chemistry reaction mechanisms are inherently fun challenges. It's all the other stuff around them that makes people not want to do them. The homework, the tests, the grades, the two kilogram textbook that you have to lug out every time you want to study. Okra makes it easy by putting it all on your phone or your tablet or whatever. It's fast. It's easy to use and to find problems. It gives you instant feedback so you know if you're on the right track or if you need to try something different. There's no grades, so there's no stress. Also, okra is real chemistry. The problems are drawn the way chemists would draw them, the way you see them in your classes, in your textbooks, on your homework and exams, in peer-reviewed chemistry papers. Solving a problem in okra is the same thing as solving it on your exams. And of course, I hope okra is fun. I want this to be something you load up whenever you have a few minutes to spare, just like you would with any other puzzle game. So that's what okra is. Here's what okra is not. It's not a way to practice nomenclature. It's not a way to practice retrosynthesis or to practice identifying correct reagents to use to change one molecule into another, or you know any other non-mechanism stuff you might encounter in a chemistry class. All of those are important topics, but they aren't the focus of the app. This app is only for reaction mechanisms. Let me give you a uh, teaser as to what you can expect. So this is the app. This is the main screen that you would see when you load it. Uh, you can select a random puzzle and it will bring you to a puzzle. And you just have to try to find out what to do. And so you would draw arrows just as you would on a thing. So in this case, the alkene is going to take the proton from the hydroiodic acid. And then you create the, you know, the intermediates. And you draw and you get your answer. And it tells you that you're right, so you know what to do, and you can go to the next puzzle right away, and you have a similar question. Uh, if you do it wrong, it will tell you, and you can try something else. And so that's the app. That's what it looks like. So that's the basic rundown of the app, but I want to share my vision of what the app will be like. So what's the dream scenario for me? I want this app to have a massive database of puzzles that you can practice literally any reaction if you wanted to. I'm talking tens, hundreds of thousands of puzzles. I want the app to give you puzzles that are tailored to your abilities so that you are constantly being challenged and continuously learning. I want this app to be used by everyone, by students to learn, but also by chemistry professionals to practice and maintain their knowledge, by chemistry professors as well. I even want Nobel Prize laureates to have this app downloaded on their phones so that they can stay sharp in organic chemistry. Anyway, that's the dream. We'll see if we get there. As of right now, the app's basic functionality seems to work, as I demonstrated. Um, I have 131 puzzles so far, and I hope to grow that number steadily. And of course, there are some kinks to work out. It's not a polished product yet. Hopefully it gets there at some point. Aesthetically, I wouldn't call the app ugly, but you might. Aesthetics are not my strong point. This will need some work in the future, but I think it's fine for now. And the app is actually available on the Play Store, so you can download it, give it a try, and it will become a useful tool eventually, I promise. I will say, there are ads, hopefully they're spread out enough that they aren't annoying, but uh, you know, there's a fair warning out there. 
and iPhone users, I'm sorry, but it's not available to you yet. Putting something on the App Store is a bit more expensive than the Play Store, and I don't want to shell out that kind of cash for a barely finished product that doesn't have any demand yet. I hope it gets to that point, because I do want this to be available to iPhone users too. So that's the app. Uh, if you're wondering who is this guy and what's his deal, well, I'm a PhD chemist, so that's uh, actually Dr. Okra. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've been doing chemistry for 12 plus years, so I like to pretend I know a thing or two about the subject from time to time. Uh, what I am not is a programmer. This is my first and only app, so I barely know what I'm doing, but I'm figuring it out. There might be some struggles along the way that a more experienced developer might solve instantly, but, you know, whatever. I'll figure it out and it will work. Uh, I'm also a lazy video editor. This video is just a PowerPoint slide that I'm talking over. If you want high quality game development videos, you unfortunately won't get them from me, but thanks for watching this one. That's me. Now what about this devlog series? What can you expect? You can expect regular video updates, hopefully. I do want to commit to this, so I think that these regular updates are likely. Uh, the videos should report on the app's progress, so changes, new puzzles, maybe some news. As you see, the app is already out, so it's not going to be start, you know, starting from scratch, but there are updates to be made, so we'll get there. Uh, it's also probably going to feature some details about the project, like its basic functionality, or how to make puzzles, or how the app draws the puzzles once they're loaded, things like that, whatever I find is interesting at the time. So that's what you can expect from this devlog series. And with that, thanks for hanging out. Let me know what you think of this project. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'd love, love, love if you installed the app and tried it out yourself. iPhone users, make some noise. Convince me that this is needed on the App Store, and it will get there. Anyway, see you next time.